Hello everyone, I am LightSaber9 of Gigs John. Today I'm going to be reviving the Slender tutorial series because at the end it fell off, my computer was dying. I have a new one. Hopefully I can make the tutorial better. I am going to speed through it. I'm not going to do really long tutorials like I did before because I hate long tutorials. So, um, right now we are in the third person template, right? The first thing we're going to do is just set up the landscape. Uh, I just have a completely blank level of starter content. I'm up in a new level, and we're just going to delete this. Come over to the, here, the left side, and we're going to create a new landscape. Now, I don't want it to be huge because again, I don't want the I don't want anything to be laggy. My computer can't handle it, so we're just going to go. We're going to go like half this size, just as an example. We're going to go four by four. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Four by four is still pretty decent size. So let's just create that. Uh, we did, I forgot to assign it a material, which you can see over here on the left, but that's okay. Because we can just set that down here, which my personal favorite is moss. Um, drag this up, press the end key to make him flush, and then let's just build our lighting real quick. Alright, so it's saying that we don't have an importance volume. Um, now, I, I don't really mess around with lighting all that much in Unreal. I'm not good at it. But we can just grab an importance volume here. Just kind of chuck it in. And then there's a, another, I think it's a post-process volume. And um, over here somewhere, there's going to be a box. I should say infinite extent. I'm just going to search it up. Yeah, just click that. We can put these box in the same exact area. It does not matter. What I believe light mass importance is, is it's like, let's say you have a really big world, um, let's say we wanted to put like castles out there that you don't go into, then we put the importance volume over all of this. So we could stretch it out, I'm not going to. I also don't like the camera glare, that's really kind of pissing me off, so we'll fix all that. Um, let's just hop in, see, here we go. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is make this third person, or first person. And I'm also going to fix the camera because that's really annoying me. So let's go to our character, which in this case it's third person character BP. And in the viewport, we are going to. We're going to need to pa parent the socket, which. First, we have to parent the camera to the mesh. And then. Head gonna move it around we can just go to location type zero 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 and then rotation do the same exact thing well that's not quite correct at all um so we gotta rotate it I do believe that's supposed to be on the right side so 90 degrees this way 90 degrees this way let's just move it forward and like up uh, and forward. That should be fine. Now there's settings that we need to change, which I'm going to mess this up, I know. Um, the camera. Use pawn, control, rotation. And then... It might be that one. It might be use control or rotation. Y'all are going to find out. And it is. Alright, set that up perfectly. So now we're in first person, we can see ourselves. Um, still got to fix the camera brightness, so I'm going to do that the way that I think you're supposed to. That's you go to the camera, just look up brightness, check these two, and then what I like to do is just make them the same value. I'm going to try one and one, but I don't know if that's... There we go. Now it doesn't get super bright. Easy. See, lighting fix, camera fix, we're starting the landscape. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to, so we're going to go back to our landscape editing tool, and not going to lie, <laughs> I don't know, I, I haven't done this in a while, um, the one I used to always use is noise, so we're going to use the noise tool, uh, make the strength point three. keep it there, just make the size a little bit bigger. Of course, if you're if you're good with landscapes so you know how you want to look, then by all means, do your own thing. I'm just kind of making it bumpy to give it, you know, sort of like a hilly forest. 
that's too much. That's way, that's a lot. Uh, fucking, um. Yeah, let's. Flatten it out. Back here. Uh, you know what? That might be too much. Let's go point. Yeah, let's just go point one. And then kind of brush over it all again. You know, do whatever whatever you think looks good. It's like, again, if you have an idea in mind on how you want it to look or how to make a landscape, then by all means, go ahead. I don't really work with 3D anymore. I'm, I'm, I've am I'm been making a lot of more 2D games, but a lot of people have been wanting the series back. Okay, so we've gotten the lighting set up. We've gotten, well, we, we fixed the lighting, uh, the brightness thing. We've got our player set up. We've got the start of a landscape. So the next thing that we're going to do which I don't have yet. I'm going to do that in the next video. This is our map. We're just going to call it Forest Map and put it in our Maps folder. So the next thing we're going to do is add foliage. So grass. Uh, we can add a wall. You can do whatever you want. If you want to do brick wall, go ahead. I like the idea, um, like what I did before with cliff rocks. And I'm going to show you in the next episode how to get those assets and then how we're going to use them. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this tutorial series is going to be better. If not, then that's unfortunate. <laughs> Goodbye.